Some years back, we were sitting, elders, sitting at a campfire in uh, Lakota country. Leaders were sitting there. Fool's Crow, Matthew King, kills enemy. I can go on. I was a youngster then, younger. All those leaders worried about you, worried about the seventh generation. And Louis Badwoon, I don't know if anybody here remembers Louis, but if you've ever met him, you'll never forget him. Louis says, God damn it, he says, what the hell are we just hanging around here for? We should be doing something about this. He says, look at us. He says, look at the power we have. Put our medicine together, he says, and bring the rain and flood them out. He says, put our medicine together. He says, bring the fire. He says, burn them. Bring the wind. Our grandfathers. We can do it. The leaders sitting there quiet. They said, geez, Louis, we better think about that one. Well, he says, God damn it. They'll never listen until they have to suffer. Well, we didn't do that. We didn't have to. Our brother brought it himself. It's here now. The fire he's talking about is here. It's burning right now. The wind he's talking about is just beginning. The water, you want more, you're going to get it. And those that need it won't get it. No, these are the prophecies. These are what we heard. These are what we know. We've been told again and again. 200 years we've been listening to the prophecies. And the first thing you understand is, oh, oh they're here. Oh, that happened already. That happened. So we are living in a time, like my grandson said, what's going to happen to me? Well, that's our job. Our job is to change people's minds. People have to change. Directions have to change. Values have to change. Otherwise, there's no mercy in nature. None. No mercy. Nature has none. Has only law, only rule. You don't abide the rule, you suffer the result. And it's just no habeas corpus here. It's what you do, and how you live. Peacemaker said to the chiefs at the time, he said, build your nation on these principles. The first principle of peace, peace. And with peace is health. Second principle is justice. You leaders, be fair to your people. And with that will come justice. Third one, power. The power of being united. The power of the good mind. The power of one mind. Power. I see the Hopis bring rain, putting their minds together. That's what you're talking about. I've never seen a Catholic priest bring rain yet. And I think I can safely say you never will. But we do. We bring rain. We give thanks. We work with the animals for everybody. You're either going to change your values or you're not going to survive. I tell you, the earth has no mercy. You abide that law or suffer the consequence. Business as usual is over. We are not going to have the luxury of spending $200 billion in a war. You're just not going to have the time or the money because you're going to be paying for environment and damages coming. I said, I'll help you. I'll be right there. And that's our elders' position. When they ask for help, we better be there. Because this is it, the way I see it. The other instruction a peacemaker said was, never take hope from the people. Give the people hope. And what is hope? It's leadership, it's principle, 
And that means the leader's got to be out there. Fight is on. Big fight now. A lot of people in the world, really, more than you know, just waiting, waiting. And the country that's got to change is right here, this country, number one. But when they find out and when they do change, you know they're going to be happy. You know, we'll all be just bound to that happy little village somewhere. It can happen. But we're going to go through some stuff. There's no escaping that. We're going to go through some stuff. So just get ready for it. Get ready for it.